Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get access to Linux kernel 5 on Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. So one of the strongest parts of 18.04 is that it's really stable, but unfortunately, the kernel updates take forever. They do happen after point releases. Eventually, you guys get newer versions. But, I mean... If you want the stability and reliability of the long-term support, but you want the newest kernel, here's what you can do. So in this video, we will be going over the UKUU method because it's a lot easier to understand for most people. But I also went over how to download the source code of the Linux kernel and compile it and build it as a dev package by yourself from source. So if you want to do it that way, I usually, on my Debian system, I build it from source to get a newer version of the kernel, and the advantage there is that you're compiling it against your own system, uh, so you can tweak stuff. But uh, if you don't care, you can go and you just want to get it, you can go ahead and get the latest release. So to do it, we need to install UKUU, and I wrote a post on this, so we'll just click on the link in the article here and uh, go down. and. Uh, Copy this PPA here, open up a terminal, and uh, install UKUU. Just copy the command, update, and install the package. And uh, just waiting for this release file. Okay. So while it's installing, we can go ahead and close that there. We don't need Firefox right now. Then we can look for UKUU in the menu, open it up, and uh, it will refresh the kernel Ubuntu index. And uh, this will let us know everything that's available. So in the article I wrote on how to install kernel 5.0.8 because that was the latest release. The good thing about UKUU and the kernel sources also let you do this is you can just install whatever the latest one available is. And as we see right now, kernel 509 is available and we can click the install button and uh, it's going to ask us to enter our password. We can do that, authenticate, and it's going to download the latest kernel. And the good thing about downloading through UKUU is that you're not actually compiling anything. You're grabbing and fetching from the index of pre-compiled builds that Ubuntu was working on and developing. Um, a lot of times they do this for their development cycle for you know, the newest release. And the LTS, you can get access to it because it's Ubuntu. So it downloads everything you need and it will install it. And one advantage of this is that you can you can get it right away. You don't have to compile the source code. If you don't want to deal with it, you don't have to. But uh, source code is also an option, and you can check out the link in the description if you'd like to do that. And uh, let that download. So now that it's done downloading, uh, and I had to quickly pause to come back to it, it's going to unpack all and install all of the packages and modules and load it up on your system. Now, this involves the modules, the headers, unsigned image, uh, the Linux image unsigned here. We got, uh, and it's going to migrate you from 4.15, which is the current release on LTS, which is, for what it's worth, is still a relatively recent release of the Linux kernel. We've only really gone from 4.15, 4.16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and then 5. So not a huge jump. It's still, I mean, it's not like going from like version 3 to 5 or something, you know. But uh, this will have a lot of improvements in drivers and stuff. So, All right, so now that the installer is done, we can close the window and reboot the system. So 
it's going to annoyingly give us a bunch of information. You can just close that. And we go up to the shutdown button here, click the restart option, and this will reboot our system. As you can see, I'm running VirtualBox. Uh, the only way to really record a reboot. Um, it'll go through the boot process and it will load the new 5.0 kernel. And in this case, 5.09. So we should see it in a minute here. And it should auto log in to the desktop once it's ready. Now, once everything is loaded up and ready to go, I'm going to open up the terminal just so I can run the uname command and prove to you that we are running kernel 5.0. So you do uname, tack A, and that will give us Linux, Derek, VirtualBox, 5.0, generic. So we are running Linux kernel 5.0 on Ubuntu LTS 18.04. Hope this was helpful. If you use Ubuntu and you like the LTS, but you want a newer kernel, this is the way to go. Also, if you'd like to build from source, the information is in the article in the link in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.